As the murder rate continues to climb just before year's end, the number of missing persons reports turned homicide investigations is also on the increase. Since the beginning of 2019, there appears to be an alarming trend of persons vanishing, only for them to be discovered sometime later in an advanced state of decomposition. It is a newfound reality, one that makes the job of the police department all the more difficult where it concerns solving violent crimes. You all know that there is always ongoing feuds between <coughs> rivaling groups, maybe gangs or in some cases not gangs, but persons who have issues with each other. And uh, that may result in um, persons being kidnapped, taken somewhere and killed. The commissioner's theory, not to be needlessly critical of his point of view, excludes the fact that women are also victims of these particular types of crimes. In mid-September, we reported on the heartbreaking location of 19-year-old Adamir Chok, whose remains were found in a field along the Never Delay Road. Around 2 o'clock, one of our um, relatives, my, well, my neighbor, um, came and tell us, told us that uh, they, 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 they smell a, so they, they got a smell there while, while they are passing, going to down the feeder road and going to the river. That is when we rush to the era uh, to see if it's, it's, it's Adamir. So when we get there at the Never Delir feeder road, that's when I myself personal went and identify is my niece Adamir Chok. Uh, so we are so sad when we see it. But then, then there we, we satisfy when we see there when when we call the police. Chuck was last seen leaving the parking lot of a nightclub in Belmopan in the company of an individual who may have also been a patron of that establishment. A few days after her discovery, 22-year-old Nelson Espinosa, a resident of Harmonyville, was arrested and charged for Chuck's murder. Adamir's demise succeeded a previous incident in which Yanira Novello, a mother who was reported missing in Orange Walk, was found stabbed to death, and her four-year-old son was also injured during the horrid incident. The prevalence of missing persons turned murder victims is not limited to any one geographical location, despite the fact that, by our count, Belmapan has seen three such cases in 2019 alone, including Densmore Bowman and most recently 17-year-old Damien Bregal. In that case, I asked Assistant Commissioner of Police Joseph Maivet on Monday whether there was any hope of finding the teenager alive. Is there any optimism that the young man may still be alive or is there concern that something may have happened and now you're in recovery? At this time, we do not know. So we are just following um, our leads being given to us and we need to talk to those persons whom he was last seen with. The modus operandi, it would seem, revolves around familiarity or a false sense of trust. Most victims are said to have left on their own free will with their suspected killers. In the case of 34-year-old Darwin Rock, whose remains were found near the Boom Hatteville Road on August 1st, police believe that he knew the persons who killed him. We believe that he might have known the persons who actually removed him from Belicity and took him to that location. Returning to the unfortunate story of Densmore Bowman, whose body was found partially buried in a shallow grave on Monday. It had been almost two weeks since he was last seen in Belmopan, socializing before disappearing altogether. His family also believes that he knew the persons that he was with. Friends, all of them, all these people that he was hanging out with are people that he called friends. They go to my brother's house, they, their children play with my brother's children, they're his friends. But there is also the angle of persons receiving death threats that go unreported. These are things that we need to look after, but one of the most salient things that we found in these investigations is the fact that the persons, when they do go missing, the family would then say to us that they were being threatened for some time. But nothing was said to the police. No one comes to the police. So we are never aware of the fact that these persons were being threatened until when they, are dis they disappeared and are found dead. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.